What are you doing out the field? <laughs> Silly puppers. Okay. Now. These beautiful golden crocuses were once a giant clump of crocuses. They're beautiful, sunny, sunny, sunny crocuses. And at one stage there were one huge clump and my father divided them into a few. And then a few years ago or last year, I divided his clumps into more. So here's some of the ones I divided. And then you can see there's another one that I transplanted. And here's another one I transplanted. So all these yellow crocuses came from one clump of crocuses that used to be right here. Isn't that right, kitty? Yeah. <laughs> so the crocuses have slowly been spreading. Like this clump here. I don't have to really separate it yet, but I will um, in a few years just because to spread them out so that they're in more locations. But the other thing that I've been spreading is down here. This is the big lime tree, one of the big lime trees. We have one, two, three, four. I think we have five lime trees here, big mature lime trees, uh, three in fields and two in the woods. But I've transplanted, here you can see some snowdrops that I transplanted here. And these snowdrops, I transplanted some here. These are singles. This is their first time. I just literally transplanted them a week, a few days ago. Here's another one. I should have really taken their flowers off. Aren't you being helpful? Anyway, those are transplanted from that clump you can see down there. That splash of white is snowdrops and I'm slowly dividing that clump out. And I'm dividing them up this hill here so that there's a, it'll be a white cloud of them. I think I've already explained this before. And the first ones I was doing were last year, no, the year before. So it's two years that I've been slowly dividing them out to make a sweep of um, snowdrops. And you can see loads of them here. They're beginning to come up. These were transplanted only last year. You can see there's lots of them. There's another one. And so in another few years, there will be a sweep of them. And this is the big clump. So I've been digging those big clumps out and separating them um, around the field. And so the phone rang when uh, I was videoing and whenever it rings when I'm videoing, it stops videoing. So the these clumps I've been separating out and slowly spreading through here. And here you can see a daffodil is about to bloom. But here's some of the snowdrops that I divided out last year. There's one that is not flowering and there's one that is flowering. So that is probably last year and that's probably the year before because they usually don't like so here's one from two springs ago. And let's see if there's some more babies that haven't flowered. So that's another baby from two years ago. But there should be, there'll be, next year there'll be even more. I can't spot them straight away. But there will be more um, because the leaves are coming up at the moment. You can't see, ah, like here, this is snowdrops. That's a snowdrop that's not flowering this year, but will snowdrop 
uh, will flower next year. So this one uh, I transplanted last year. And this one was the year before, and this one was last year. So you can see the difference. Some The flowers, they'll flower in the following year. Yes, hello. Yes, kitty. Brr. Yes. Ow. Those claws are very painful. You're a painful cat. So, a sweep. I can't wait. It'll take a few years because I've got to, I've got to finish those clumps. What are you doing? Don't destroy the snowdrops. You've rolled all over the daffodils. So all those snowdrops will be spread. It'll take me a while because I'm doing it here and doing it in other locations on the farm. But it's great. They will end up loads all over the place of snowdrops. 